Dire Team Ban. Team Secrets Turn to Ban. Dire Team Ban. Give me a break. Can we use cast and. I didn't know you went. Maybe I don't follow. How does it start? Team Secrets Turn to Ban. I played the team with. Okay, cool. Dire team pick. No. It was like this. Team secrets turn to pick. Dire. SFS pack. <laughs> Remember that shit. I think the rain was so good. And a bomb juke you, man. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. I'm so excited. Crawl with the bile. That was a Nice. All right, this. What? Three. Two. Team one. Team Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back again to the Perfect World Masters. We're taking a look at game at number two now of Team Secret versus Maneski. I'm lyrical joined as well. By the lovely Black. Lacoste is right behind us in the room as well. Looking dapper as always. Uh, but we're going to be going into this one. It's uh, a little bit of a rough game last time around for Team Secret. And it looks like they're going to give away the tiny uh, to Maneski this time. Uh, how are you feeling, Black? I mean, Tiny Frisbee just got completely shut down by Mineski. Secret. They don't seem to be as prepared for it because Rubik doesn't strike as amazing against Tiny. Do mm. you think they have a plan for it? Or Well, this is always my thought when it comes to Dota. If you are in a rough situation, you go back to what works well for you. And for Secret, that's Rubik. But like you said, if it's a Tiny that's this hero that you have to deal with, Maybe that's not the right answer. I mean, we all know how it works with a lift, right? You lift him and you move him like an inch. Right. And it just like drops on like a real rock. <laughs> and it have a poof, and it just drops right there. Yeah. So, why I really like Nesky's lamp against a tiny, there's a lot of spells that would not get reduced by the uh, resistance. Okay. Yeah. The the shards, the sigil, yeah. the um, damage drain. It's, doesn't strike me as super good as Tiny either. Yeah, I, I'm kind of with you there. Um, Venomancer, how does that work with S resistance? It's the same thing. It gets reduced by. A you deal the same amount of damage, though, right? No, no, you do not. You do not. You do not the like, let's say you Venom ult them, it usually lasts 16 seconds, it only lasts like 7 seconds. Kind of like. Oh, wow. So that doesn't strike me as particularly amazing. Mm -hmm. However, on the lane. Tiny cannot do anything against Venom. So right. if they if they plan to maybe go aggro trial on him with a Venomancer, I could see that as really strong. Okay, but I like it. But out of the laning phase, it's gonna be a bit iffy to to really catch him. Fair enough. To kill him. Well, we're gonna have to watch and wait and see how that works out. Uh, Rubik Venomancer is a two opening hero. Certainly, seems like it's a strong team secret opener. But likewise, we did see that uh, Maneski had other answers. Also, we talked about the Lich, all of the armor that was coming in there, slowing down his attack speed. Um, what is it that you think that Maneski want to pair together? And also, does this feel more like a Moon hero or more like a Mushi hero? Oh, with tiny? Actually, when they pick Tiny, usually Ice plays it on the offlane. Oh, okay. I have not seen him play carry mid Tiny yet. Okay. So maybe that's also a secret uh, like thought process. It's not a carry anyway, so maybe we don't have to deal with it like that. I will say, last time Doom felt like a carry. Yes, the other game we just saw. Oh yeah, I mean, it really did. You can't say anything about that. So I go back for the Tusk again. I mean, just a very solid hero. Has initiation, has slow, counter initiation, stun, even for BKB as well. I'm really happy that we're seeing Tusk emerge as the sort of first pick material, uh, at least for some teams. It's something that I feel like has, he was on the rise for a very long time. Uh, at last patch-ish, it was like Earth Spirit and um, what else were the other like big four heroes? Night Stalker, uh, those types of guys. Tusk was always like, all right, if you can't get any of those, then we'll take him, but we don't necessarily want to. And that's like every time if you can get him. I mean, he has cool. so much utility. You can even just block your offlane. Like right. last, last game, he didn't manage to do it, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty sure he practiced it a lot, and this game he's probably going to pull it off, and it's going to help your offlane so much because you instantly get level 2. 
Yeah, and like pushing yourself like up cliffs that we've seen occasionally from tusks as well. Yeah, it was from Kroki, I believe. Yeah, there's cool things that you can do with that as well. I mean, the hero is very technical. Yeah, it's also very mechanically demanding. I played it the other day and I felt terrible because I kept on using it like the old shards. And I would be like, if it was the old shards, it would have been perfect. But the way I played today is blocked my team from finding kills. And then they were all very upset at me. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like Dota. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, so he's uh, obviously a strong hero. The Underlord banned out now, a little bit of a different one. Um, Underlord. Actually, why did it ban Underlord? I guess it's really annoying to play against Underlord and Venom in one team. Why is that? Well, simply because you can never approach the tower, right? Okay. Like, like Pitlord defends, or Underlord defends one lane, Venom defends the other lane, and you have Rubik on top of there. It's going to be incredibly hard to push. Although, I think, personally, Tiny and Tusk are not bad against Underlord at all. Like, Tiny can toss out heroes when he ults out, for example. There's a lot of neat stuff you can do, but probably the combination of Venom and Underlord is just very annoying to deal with. Okay. That makes sense. I, I guess that's one of the things. Whenever I think of Underlord, I always think of just his ultimate, but Actually, Firestorm is... Just another thing, the 40% damage reduction aura is really strong against Tiny. Oh, oh yeah. Very, so that's probably another thing. I wonder if we're going to be seeing Underlord as an answer to Tiny in the future. It is not bad, for sure. Even though the, uh, the root doesn't really last, yeah. like, even a second. <laughs> but, <laughs> just, like, stops for a second. But, but, it kind of gets, like, again. reapplied, so maybe that's a bit annoying, too. Yeah. And Firestorm is max HP based, and Tiny has a lot of health. Could be cool. There's, there's maybe something there. I like that idea. Yeah. DP also going to be banned out, not seeing any of her at all. Yep. So if you're right now, Team Secret, looking at this draft of a Tusk Tiny, uh, do you feel like there's a strong need to invest more heroes to shutting them down, or are you trying to like, build your own draft? What, what would you be looking for okay. in this draft So right the now? thing is, if Mineski stick to what they used to do before, and it's going to be an offlane Tiny, and just naturally, he's going to have a lot less farm than a carry Tiny. Okay. So I can imagine they will put a lot less resources in dealing with a Tiny, just building like a very strong lineup for themselves. Whoa, this is actually green. This is all green, all day. Yeah. Well, Undying, Venom, Rubik, those three... Very scary, very terrifying early on. <laughs> We've seen a lot of teams that build these drafts that are very early game oriented, sometimes uh, pitter out towards the later stages if they don't have ways to take objectives or if they don't have something to transition. What do you think they need to transition? Or do you think the teams are just fully invest as go shadow shaman? Well, usually crazy. these three heroes you pick with like more kind of hard carry. Okay. What do you want to do? Most of the time, like you pick another fighter, like uh, well, Puck is banned again, like a Quop, also banned. You know what I mean? Like, you just yeah, pick yeah. another fighter, right? So you can pick four, protect one, because those four will not lose team fights. Yeah. It's very, very hard to lose team fights with those four heroes. And you probably have like some. This game is probably going to be CTY, who is going to be left alone and kind of just like farming by himself. Mm -hmm. And Ten seconds. I'm actually wondering though, what can they pick? Like a Dragon Knight maybe would be bad at all? Yeah, they can't really touch Dragonite at all right now. Some of those other heroes that have been really popular recently. You could do like Venom mid also. Venom mid also works for sure, yeah. And then you could offline somebody. Where you else. could do Venom offline, you could do Venom carry. It's just a very versatile hero. You can right. do pretty much whatever you want with him. I think DK would fit really well with that draft. They're going for the Razor themselves. All right, that's nifty. Oh, it's also fits into the category. Fighting, very strong. And, and the same thing as last game, he's very strong against Tiny. Especially so, now, the Grow doesn't give movement speed anymore. He can't get away from the Razor anymore. Oh, I mean, oh, they're going to sneak the anti mage oh, away from him. perfect them. AM pick. Oh my god. Because <laughs> you, you see they have zero stuns. Well, yeah. One lift. Okay, they have one lift, but you're never going to kill this AM with one lift. Are you getting excited just thinking about playing anti mage in this game? Dude, in this game, playing anti mage is like. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know what I mean, right? Like, yeah. and Tiny's gonna be offlane again. It was uh -huh. very clear from the start. For yeah, sure. I don't know whether Secret knew that, but I knew that. And probably uh, all other people that watch me a lot knew that too. You uh, you have some inside knowledge here as well. Ah, this is all bad. It's ah, yeah. gone. Bad. <laughs> gone. <laughs> well, okay. Um, it would be so greedy, Storm, AM, and Tiny in one team, man. Wow. That would be crazy. I mean, they can make it work, I'm sure. No, they can't. Well, Mineski is not going to have the last pick. Ten seconds so, remaining. 
What do they need? They just need somewhat of a space maker. Mm -hmm. Five seconds remaining. Could you go like uh I mean I guess Tinker takes space here. Tinker M is yeah. insanely greedy. Yeah. Well the uh, right. makes a lot of sense against anti mage. That's great. Oh, they're gonna go instead for the Marauder. Okay, yeah, of course. One of the staple heroes. Moon plays a lot. One of his favorite heroes. On quite uh, he, band yeah, he's too. probably gonna go for the Agnes build as well because the aim is gonna take care of the physical part. As well as the tiny, of course. So what about if you like Morphling here for some secret or Mor Morphling can work. He doesn't have the mana issues with anti mage as much anymore because Morph doesn't require uh, doesn't manage at all. But the question is actually whether they even want to go to four pick one or pull out push because now they picked an anti mage. Yo, if they go Morphling, they can go double tombstone. Yeah, that, that works. They could also go Lone Druid. Lone Druid is really good against the lineups. Yeah, if they want to all in push. Would you like Magic more? Do you like all in push? Strat? I'm not a big fan of all in push, but they might have to do this game simply because of the AMP. I actually like DK a lot if they want to do it all in push. Well, they're going to take TA. TA is very strong, lanes very, very nicely against the uh, Mirano. Not as good against Tiny anymore because he actually gets some from his ultimate now. Right. Still very strong against him, of course. But then again, Dazzle kind of cancels that out as well with his. Um, What's it called again? Weave. Weave, yeah. That makes TA a lot weaker, but TA is definitely one of CTY's best heroes. Like, no doubt at all. TA okay. and OD are his two best heroes, in my opinion. All right, so we're seeing stacks in the Ancients. We're going to be seeing battles with the Undyne and running at people. Yeah. Uh, do they, like, aggro the Mushi anti-mage? How, how do you try and lane this? What's your, your game plan for winning this game for Secret? Okay, so... Once again, the Razor won't have any problems at all landing against the Tiny. Okay. So the two supports are somewhat free. I think Rubik will start at the safe lane a bit, and they will do lane off lane at the Venom Undying. And TA will crush middle. Like, TA just owns Mirano. Okay. Like, no chance at all. And then, as I said, they're going to be running around at 4, and the TA is kind of going to push and split push by herself. And when she's ready to fight, she's going to take Roshan, that kind of stuff. Is it enough of a uh, mismatch that you might even have, like, Mesky sit either the Dazzle or the Tusk mid to help out? Well, Dazzle definitely is very strong against TA mid lane, because you just poison him and all the stacks are going to disappear. Especially now that when you hit him, the uh, um, poison touch Can gets, like, reapplies. Yeah. So, there's definitely a possibility, because they need to secure the anti mage though, for sure. Yeah. Because Antimus cannot be poor in this game. Well, we'll have to wait and see. We're getting into this one. Maybe we have a pause, and that's why there's the devil logo yeah. just chilling. Well, you, you, have, you also have to wonder whether they can actually secure this AM lane in this game. Because Undying Venomous is very strong. Yeah, that's scary, man. I, I do love Undying as a hero, and I feel like he kind of got a little bit of uh, love in the last patch. People are really excited about the Tombstone on Death talent, but right. it's kind of turned into the situation now where it just means you're feeding over more gold sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, like if you get picked off alone, for sure. But if you actually die in a good spot, then mm -hmm. the double Tombstone can be game breaking. Right. By the way, why did you see Mesky all go aggressive trialing and just avoid the Undying Venom uh, Man? But then again, you, have, you put a tag against the Venom, you don't want to do that either. Right. We just spoke about how impossible that is. Well, they did see, uh, they're going to ha probably have eyes on Mineski down bottom here. So they can probably make a lane rotation decision if Secret want and figure out what they want to do. But you can also see Ice got an off lane tiny build with boots. Oh, okay. So he they definitely want to play around with the lanes a bit. Looks right, like Mushi see. broke his smoke here. Yep. It was on Ace. They definitely know someone's down there. Oh, they're waiting with the shards jabs. If he walks up, oh no, they see him though. They they have vision here. They're the opsport. Yep. Well placed. Who, who put that down actually? It was uh -huh. really fast. Yeah, it must have been a uh, must have been either Puppy or Pops, possibly Yapsor, because he has boots first. But on bottom, they did find Ace. Not going to be able to get the kill. It's very low though. Wow. Or punch on the way out. He's got mango regeneration with the one though. He's mine. Value. Yeah. But the thing is, he doesn't have any flask. And now Tiny can actually lane against him because he's out of region. Pretty much already. Yeah. Well, and also Tiny's going to pull this creep wave past. So Razor's going to tank some uh, hits from the creeps. You will see that a lot, by the way. Razor can't do anything about him pulling the creep. So he's just going to keep doing it like every other creep wave. And then he's going to deny a whole wave between the towers. 
It's a very efficient way to play against Razor. That's so frustrating. Razor's actually going to do the same thing. Mushi is going mid now, realizing that they did not want to have that matchup of the Marana against them. Mushi, TA usually owns him terribly hard. They're making it work at least a little bit. Two and one versus one and one so far. Obviously, this might end up changing as time goes on, but this is what you get from a little bit of help in towards the mid lane. Puppy battling right now against Jabs. They're also going to get the lift pulled back in Ninja Boogie. And, well, Puppy's still taking a lot of damage. He doesn't have anywhere close to level two, but he's just trying to make it work. Uh, they they can't stack. Stack. I'm dying. Yeah. Uh, Task 600 health. No. No way. Going to pause on the last issue again. Yeah, hopefully, four. It ends up working yeah. in that itself. Out. Just analyzing the lanes. So, Secret should win two out of three lanes, just by default. I don't see any way how this AM can lane against TA long term. TA gets level 3 4, it's going to be impossible to stay mid lane. I wonder why they're doing that, actually. Maybe if they know that they can get through the first couple of waves, they could like TP him afterwards to somewhere else. Yeah, but then you still have this like pot that won't really be optimizing for mid lane either. Okay, so it's not great. You don't like that idea. Either. I mean, the bottom also loses to the air, right? Okay. I think the last pick was just a very great pick. I mean, he optimized up a venom against the TA, but how are you ever gonna reach him? Because it's not like Secret is gonna leave him one v one or like one v two. Yeah, you can't blink on top of the TA. Yeah, it's not die. Well, that's going to be something to watch out for. Uh, so then in your eyes, you have to keep somebody mid. That's uh, Secret for... will keep somebody for sure. Like the Rubik will be mid for sure. And then wherever the task moves, the uh, uh, Undying is going to move too. As well. So they're just going to mirror movement. And then just by default, they're going to win two lanes. And top lane, Venom against Potom is kind of a 5 5. But as long as the Undying can mirror the movement of the task, he shouldn't be able to get any kills anywhere. Yeah. Well, that's something that might be a little bit tough to do for Puppy, I guess, because um, the Tusk is like a little bit more mobile with Snowball. I guess that he's still going to be able to get there in time, though. Yeah. Well, the most important thing is knowing where he is. Because okay. if you see him walk top lane, then the Venom will be very careful. And he won't die there either. Yeah, Bushi's just being zoned out completely. It's so hard for him to do anything. Okay. He, he cannot lane mid lane against this lane. This is impossible. What's he gonna do? He's gonna stack ancients? What's happening here? Bushi. Not where you wanna be. Well. Um, a rough start, and we'll see if it ends getting any better. When the creep wave is sort of even here in the middle, does that work at all? Or? Well, T the TA is always naturally good. It's gonna push it out. But the problem is that AM takes so much damage just by being a melee hero against the TA that it's gonna be. It's only level 2 TA, and look how much damage he's taking already. Yeah. But how much... 40 damage... I mean... The biggest weakness AM has early game is physical damage, right? And TA is all... Oh my damage. god! The deny oh, the kill CTY! Oh god! Black. Okay. Man, I, I told you, he's a TA specialist. <laughs> that was really good. It was amazing, yeah. I don't know if I've seen that out of a TA in a while. Yeah, last time I saw it was uh, Rari Broodmother. Okay. All right, but yeah, you, you see the aim is like, done. <laughs> well, top lane, Fata getting going on here, but they rotate in. Puppy, there's going to be a soul rip, a turnaround. Jab's also in trouble. Secret, yep. a little better. Well, it kind of feels like the opposite right now, right? From last game? Yeah. I just want to see another solo kill again. I'm getting greedy here. I'm not supposed to be uh, biased or anything, but I was just, it just looks so pretty. Yeah. Wait, bot lane actually. Uh... Yeah. Damage coming out. They find the finish. Yeah. Ace, Ace is going to go down. I should die to range creep it. Yeah, that's, that's a little unfortunate. How there. sad is that? He's almost away. Fata, meanwhile, ends up finding the kill on the run. Action just all over the place. Six kills in just three and a half minutes. Well, let's check out the net of AM and TA. TA 2.2k, AM 1k. Mm, rough, man. And like you said, it doesn't really get a whole lot easier either. The biggest problem they have is they don't actually have a good hero to take off the reflection cards either. 
It's Orb of Venom on Mushi. That's what they're putting their hopes in to do. This is gonna happen. You gotta get out of here, man. Ow. Ah. Uh. My <laughs> You're just you're on the edge of your seat right now with every side blade shot. You uh, so focus on mid lane right now? Yeah. Wait, what is he doing? He's going bottom now? Yeah, he doesn't want to be here anymore. This is not his life. Um, maybe he's just trying to get the bounty run. He walked all the way down there for that. It's not there. Nope. All right, well, they're able to break the static link here, and Ice trying to run away. Aptor is still in the air. They're going to be able to get the lift in just a second. Avalanche, but the lift pull back. Ace dealing the damage. 68 stolen. It might be up, but he oh, tosses him way the hell out of there. The Absor will have another lift in six seconds, and because they're cane rune, huh? I thought that Ice might have been able to just walk away there, but he's still just soaking up experience, and well, it looks the other way around, and uh, I can't find him. Did, All right, they made it work. Go? All right, just let him go. Mid lane, puppy ends up dying. Right, I missed. The How did that happen? I'm not. Oh, sure. they were diving the Dazzle. Yeah. Top lane, Fata also going to go down, so they made another rotation happen, and two, two. But you know what I mean. The problem is now, right? I think that Undying should really just focus on mirroring the movement of the task because okay. this doesn't even happen and he doesn't need help middle anymore. Right. Against these two here, he just doesn't need help anymore. So. I really think the Undying should just focus on the task. It should be his only objective. Because if he's uh, the Ven will never die. Well, and that is a hero that, you know, granted it's an offlane Veno, but you still want to have a good game and be able to make some stuff happen. Going for a 2-1-2 two, on two on the build right now on Venomancer. I mean, definitely. Veno with a good game is so hard to deal with. You just put the wards down there, and whenever you want to kill him, you basically lose all your health on all your heroes. It's a lot of space that he creates. I'm talking about mirroring the mo movement and rotations of the Tusk. They are going to run into him here now. Yeah. In some trouble, slowed down, lifted up, and try and snowball this some creeps with Fat moving in, TPing away. Is it going to be enough? He ends up going down. Why didn't he just TP after the lift? Why? Why did he snowball there? Because he could have TP straight. That's a good point. Maybe because because so rip these more damage by units they are, right? Yeah, this is a very good point. Oh well. Well, it just happens. Moving, running away now from Puppy. They aren't going to be able to find that kill. But again, the problem that we're seeing is anti mages just really constantly getting ramped here and I mean his net worth is really miserable half of the TAs but it was to be expected honestly I played that I think I played AM more than almost anybody uh -huh. and this matchup is just possible that's not a great one it definitely has been feeling like he's in a bad spot and it's constantly getting denied 42 and 17 versus 13 and 2 Right, there was a super good uh, rotation by Japs. Blocked off the Razor, so he saved Tiny and got the Razor kill on top of that. All right, well done. I say Sice living. Top lane there, going in on this one. Moon, I feel to find a kill here is lots of getting gone on. Can they find him in the trees? Another leap in 36 seconds. Not going to be able to get that one in time. Does have all these stick charges in the world, and, well, unfortunately, got blocked off by the ward. Good placement there from Fata. Yep. And meanwhile, what's happening? They Wait, what? find a kill on the TA mid. Oh, the three-man rotation. That was good. All right. That was really important. Top tower. Top tower is also down because they killed the partner that just in top lane as well. Mm -hmm. The problem for AM is he can't go through any lane. Like all he costs right now, they bully way too much. Yeah. So what he just did with the TA was really good, but they need to do it again. Twice. Twice more. Yes. Yeah. It was a big old swing back there into the favor. It's starting to look quite rough. And even still, it's looking really good for Secret. Do they have Ancient Stacks? Uh, they have some Ancient two, two stacks, stacks on Mineski. Each. Yeah, and they have two Stacks each on Secret as well. All right. Actually, Mineski has to be careful that the TA doesn't go, doesn't go there and takes their stack. Uh, Mushi blinked into this. No. Into Razor? He blinked to try and get the rune. What rune was it? I, I don't know. There was no rune. There wasn't a rune. He just blinked. All right. Oh, I guess it was just unlucky because he didn't know where the raid was. That must have been what it was. It's one of those things where it always looks so bad from the spectator's point of view, but in the game. I mean, he doesn't have vision there. Right. So. Oh, man. Look at the miserable blink. Hold on now. 15 seconds. Why would you nerf AM? 
<laughs> you, this getting so good. What are you talking about? That is everywhere. Unbelievable, man. Use it every game. Unbelievable is what I'm telling you. I have to say, I hate Aiden as a hero. I'm sorry. I, I hope that we can still be friends. Mo but. Most people do. <laughs> I, I won't judge you for it. Thank you. All right, well, the apps are moving up top. They're trying to chase down jabs. Don't know if they're going to be able to find him. Arrow off the mark, trying to TP away, and he will be able to get out. Tiny. Going for Shadow Blade. He's actually right. bringing Ace kind of low. Maybe with the next Soul Ring? It's burst potential there. He's actually coming to. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to do it now with not quite enough mana. I might have been able to throw the tree. Throw the tree avalanche? Nah. Kill one avalanche. avalanche. Wouldn't have killed him. Okay. <clears throat> so AM still looking rough. 3k net worth to TA's 5k. And TA hasn't even cleared any of the Oh no, he actually cleared one ancient stack. Yeah. But he still has another. Here. And well, technically he still has two more because Mesh was kind enough to stack for him. Yeah, I wonder if that's going to end up being found. They don't have vision. Ooh, really picked up. They're going to be able to get some man break going on there, but also over to the side. Fox fully encapsulated, but he might just end up being able to. Oh, no, there's no other heroes there. Yeah, just Fox dead. But 3k gold advantage. But that's also going to be space for uh, TA to start to take down these ancients. Yeah. He actually got quite lucky. Neither of the spawns, like both ancient camps, there were no. Crawlers, I think they're called. The dark, yeah. the HP region thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Quite lucky. Those ones are hard to deal with. Yeah. Especially this TA because they have 10 armor. Oh, God. Uh, Moonlight Shadow Jabs is going to run into Puppy and could go for the shard to block off, but Puppy just heads off the other direction. Actually, going to drop the two. So easy, then. It's a lot of damage while we're punching. I'll try to turn it. The snowball through. It's going to be enough. Jabs might end up losing but yeah, just, yeah. they end up being able to find that kill it's on the base. No matter. What? I'm a bit surprised by the low levels of Tarts and Secret. Because I actually thought they got more done around the map. Yeah. Four and five and a half to six and almost six. So, uh, what do you think about this Yasha first for TA? He does it every game. Okay. And it's simply just like an efficiency farm item. Right. City is one of the only people doing it. He doesn't use it for mantle or anything, he just keeps it as a Yasha. Wow. Just for like movement speed, and attack speed, just like efficiency in general. So does he go blink that next? Okay, usually what he does, he just goes Deso, he doesn't go blink at all. Wow, okay. It's a very different type of build. Yeah. Most TAs just go either blink into Deso or Deso into blink. Mm -hmm. But he usually just goes Yasha into Deso and then goes fast Roshan and it just snowballs that way. It's going to be interesting to watch here. Ninja Boogie going to push out the crew wave in the mid lane um, as Moon comes to join him as well. But it does feel like the game has kind of slowed down a little bit at this point. Which is what Mineski wants. They want to be able to farm up. The problem is going to be the Desolate is going to be a huge part later on. The Weave actually counters both Razor and TA. And they have to be careful they don't fight under weave basically. Okay. Because even a very, very farm TA suddenly deals no damage at all. That is a big issue. Um, yeah. And undispellable as well. No way to deal with it. But they still got uh, Venomancer, which is quite good against Wave at least. Well, they do find Fata here. He's going to get him, but Poison Nova as well. Doesn't look like it's quite going to be enough. They do arrow, and Fata ends up dropping down the ward, almost able to. Himself alive there, but, but yeah, both of them are like half health. Be uh, careful, Rubik moving in here. Can he make this happen? He, he might be able to kill Mushi, seal lift, pull it back in. He's gonna have a blink to chase here if he wants to go for it, but scary. Yeah, if you blink there, he's just gonna turn around and wake you. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> see, and the bottom was still in the neighborhood as well. All right, I just making uh, Mushi's life a little bit less comfortable. Arrow. Oh. Puppy in the mid lane looks like he is going to be dead. He just still on the high ground, so it's gonna cause some issue. Secret's getting sloppy right now. Yeah. Slip it down here. They missed on the melt strike uphill, and well, there's the grave. Uh, he's fine. Going to be a liver G back. Gale is only level three. Yeah, he's completely fine. So they did end up going for a blink dagger on TA. Actually, he did go Yasha into blink. Yeah. I guess to chase down to AM. All right. 
Yeah, uh, that makes sense. Because if you hit him and he blinks away, you look after him he's dead every time. Mm -hmm. Oh, damn it, output is gonna suffer a lot in his front speed too. Yeah. Because tier with Vesto is like like AM with a Battle Fury. Just not great. Usually like not a thing. He's definitely gonna go back for the for the death, I think. Speaking about Fury, Mushi getting close to it now. Only around actually, not, 200 gold the away. The timing's not gonna be bad, actually. Yeah. For how rough that early game was, against solo killed by the TA, it's... M M Mineski managed to make a lot of space. Oh, oh but they, they found the ancient stack. Oh, oh man. Hurts. Yep, they dropped down the war. Now, trying to get into vision. The Absor lifts up one. Jabs, he's gonna snowball away and... Actually, just snowball deeper into the clutches of the TA. Yeah, that was well played by TA. He waited for the snowball and blinked away. Oh, and now they'll finish off the stack, probably. Oh no, they're getting into position. This is a tiny, it's just gone. Yep. Oh man. That's what I mean with TA being very strong against him. Because yeah. it minus like three hour instantly. But they didn't expect the sentry to be down there. Right. Yeah, he only has the one point in grow as well, so it's only five bonus armor for now. Mushi got Battlefield up. Pretty good time. 15 minutes. I was without threats, but still a very respectable timing. Well, and also it's a little bit different now because Battlefield costs a little bit less. You still sort of go by what the old timing was for if it's a good one or not. Well, it's like it's a little bit lower if you have a good game. Right. But if you have a hard game, it's actually. It feels cheaper because the the piece is more expensive. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? You can't buy like the two small pieces. You have to save up for the really big piece. Right. That means if you die once during that, you actually lose a lot. Yeah. It Whereas sucks. before, you wouldn't really lose much at all. Right. Well, TA now. Uh, probably Des would be the next one I would imagine. Yeah. Des into BKB would be ideal. But yeah, you need the Desu. And if you have Desu, you make the tiny feel miserable too. We always think about, well, as Tiny is going to get all of his damage stolen in the world here. Uh, they don't have sentries. Wait, Yep, so coming with his dust. He needs yeah, to be out right now. Wow. This is... Plus, the way to be out. You have to uh, die. Oh, he's TPing away. Uh, TPing uh, away. Yeah, nice. Make it happen. Well played. He made a lot of space there again. Yeah, Three TP's bottom. Trying to battle. They kill off the Venomancer, but now they're chasing. This is a lot of damage stolen from Ace as well. 224. Ends up bringing Moo down very low, and now they get the Can they get the second TP break? They do. Absor made it happen. Ninja Boogie gonna go down as well. Triple between the two of them. What do you think about Potom's TP uh, decision to not TP? Uh, it was interesting. Yeah, because there was no lift anymore. One of them would have gotten out, right? I don't know. So yeah, TA is going for the Tesla next, as expected. And he's got the threats, uh, found an illusion rune, pressure and kit, at T1 mid. How do you feel about this game for each team? Is, like, Secret is winning right now, but do you think that they're on a clock? I'm really on a clock, because TA can definitely deal with AM. It's just the... Uh, it's gonna come down to how they fight, and... Whether they can take out the Dazzle before he weaves or not. Because if they fight under weave, it's going to be very hard for them to actually win it fight. Right. But if they can catch the end without weave, he just dies in one second. Because TA just melts him. Like, no pun intended. Ah, uh, you got it. Yeah. Well, melt is. It's not melt. So. Yeah, it's melt. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Right? I got you. I'm with you. All right. What about if Rubik steals weave and throws it back on him? Yeah, sure. You could fight them. Yeah, the Kenzie's got out of it. Yeah. Or maybe he has an Aghanim since it's actually more armor. Oh man, that's armor. the dream. I actually like that one. No, we know that's it. That's not that Ags anymore. His Ags is uh, shallow grave now, isn't it? Oh, or to change that? Yeah. Atta, gonna go down. TP though, they got the lift. They got the pull. He is in some trouble. And it looks like they're gonna be losing ice. Out soon. Dust off. And he's dead. Well played. Hype for now. Yeah, the dust is uh the dust being affected by status resistance is kinda crazy. So now the problem for Secret begins a little bit though. It's AM, they only have one lift to catch him. Right. So actually what the TA might wanna do, go into Desolator and then Orchid slash Bloodthorn. Hmm. Just to be able to have another catch for him. Because right now they really only have to lift. Yeah. And nobody really wants to build a hex. On, on secret side. 
I love this. Let's smoke gank, says Fata. They have to do the chat wheel stuff now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They're trying, right? It's good. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's the way that it has to work, and he's going to come join them now. No, he's, he, he says no. <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> Affirmative. Oh, the smoking is Roche, apparently. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe that's what like, the secret code. Let's Roche. I mean, Roche. Jabs is in his right here as well, so they might have seen him just go into the rush. But it was like way too fast. Into, so anyway, yeah. fast. And with this Aegis, they're going to take all these two towers. And then they're going to try to contain them from there. Well, TA is getting really low. Be really careful. Scary stuff indeed. Yeah. They got it. Yeah. If Tusk had a uh, sigil there, he could like send it in, get vision, and try and steal. But Mushi. <laughs> what? Is Blink was on cooldown? I don't know how we ended up there with Blink on cooldown. Yeah. I it did get lifted before. That's crazy. Well, 9k no worth lead and... Ow, oh, that thing's looking really rough for Maneski right now. And likewise, yeah. quite good for Secret. It is looking quite good for Secret, yeah. Some might say. Are you one of those? Yeah, on the winning track? I am one of those, yeah. Okay. As I said, the biggest problem they will have is... Actually, high ground is not even a big problem for them. Dyer doesn't really have much high ground defense, do they? Okay. They need like a Starfall and charge, I guess. Is Moon dead? Are they just gonna try and on him? They have a haster and on C2I. He's just running at him. Oh god. Yep, there's the lift. There is the couple wait, shots wait. and yeah, he's gone. Yeah. They're kind of cute though. <laughs> <laughs> they make it work. They're, they're doing things. They're doing it good. 11k net worth lead. The wraparound is coming right now from Tiny. He wants to make a play desperately, but it's really feeling like it's just not going to happen as easy as they would want. Eric can instead just go for the cut. He's dead. Is he? Yeah. Oh no, Rubik's Blink just ran out. Oh my god, are they going to get instead the courier? Oh, that would be the dream. It, it's here. He's got him, he's got him. Ah, he's not going for it. You know, Rubik had Blink of M, and just as he was about to blink, it ran out. Uh -huh. Otherwise, the tide would have died. That's frustrating. Well, maybe I saw it because you can see the icon run out. <laughs> next, next, next level. Aim? Are they gonna blow him up here? Oh no! He just had a. There is no toss. He didn't have mana for it, and he ends up going down. Didn't quite do the math. The chase is there. Weave could come out. It's already been used, but I don't think anything's gonna save Ninja Boogie at this point. Nope. Double kill for CTY. I think CTY is really scary on TA. This was really good. That, when we used to scrim against them, and they last picked TA against us, we we were sad. Moon <laughs> is also in trouble. He's trying to get out of there. He has two leap charges, which he could probably use relatively soon, but end up hitting the dust and bottom. Is there a reason that you don't use your leaps there? Well, he tried to kind of like walk away a bit first and then leap. But, eh. Should have tried at least. Okay. But he didn't. There is a DD bottom lane as well. AM is going to have Manta and 700. They can definitely still fight, it's just. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. The problem is AM is the only rich hero right now. Yeah. Well, not even rich, but. Only farmed here. He's have. still 4,000 behind. And yeah. Yeah, like with Manta Star, are you able to fight TA? Dyer's bottom tower not in the 5 5 fight, fight, but you can actually pick her off. Then. Okay. Like, let's say Tusk AM can actually kill the you know. Yeah. Sucky, sucky. Speaking of Tusk, it's oh. going to get ran at here. They aren't going to be able to make anything else happen. Ice runs into the Razor. And who do uh, the Purge, it's working. He's dropped down dead. Ace finds a kill streak for himself. And while well, this has happened, they're down in the base. They take down Ninja Boogie. The Tier 3 tower is being assaulted. Tier 3 is down. Secret are just showing no respect right now for Maneski. How do they need to? Tiny's dead for 35 seconds. There's no buyback on him. No buyback on the Dazzle. Game is feeling mighty hard. Well, at least they have got Manta now. So the good news, but they're just going to lose two sides, probably. Go, go, nice. And this is going to be a tier three tower again taken. Like, I mean, AM is doing his best down here, trying to split push. Even if you get the tier two, 
Secret is not going to give a crap. Yeah. But they're making this happen. There's Mint yeah. style done. He is back now. And maybe one final hurrah. They do have the meld down. And well, now Rubik is able to steal an arrow. Throws it in. Oh. Almost able to hit there on that. But a little bit off the mark. Chase board. On a five. There's going to be Mint style as well. Do they have the mana void? It's a good amount of damage. Maybe not enough as Ace is running them down, purging everybody. The chase is continuing. CTY thinking about chasing a bit further, but they don't want to die underneath the tower too far. Oh, oh they do. Moon is just there. Arrow on the devil. Oh, he's fall, and he is going to end up dying. Mushi is there as well. The arrow not going to connect onto anybody. Yaps were making more use of that spell than the others were able to. Ace finally going to be forced back at least a little bit, but he's still dim from... The AM and the TP coming in as well. The arrow oh. from the Nexi takes him down. He absor making the plays that they need him to. And now Mushi got tossed in. He got tossed in by his tiny. <laughs> okay. I like to use it for the check wheel. Yeah. They've got to do it. That's how they communicate. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you if you use US English, it shows up in different language, right? Exactly. That's the way it works. Yeah. It's OP. It's pretty beast. Can I ask you, as somebody that's played with the guy, why do you think Ice threw Mushi at them? Uh, because he felt like they needed to do something okay. to kind of get back. But it wasn't I mean, control. It was just like that. No, no, no. no okay, no. all right. He doesn't troll his teammates like that. Okay. No, not in serious tournaments. That's what I was. I, I didn't think he did. Yeah. But he only trolls his enemies <laughs> like that to make them feel bad. <laughs> I guess that he did have Manta out, so he was going to try and like Manta style out of that as they went, and then he could like Manta avoid. Yeah, it just looked a bit dangerous because suddenly TA just hit him once and he almost died. Right. So the team just went for Butterfly. Yeah. Why not? Why not? You were saying you kind of like the idea of an Orchid or something? Oh, he's going next. Okay. But Butterfly. But he just went Butterfly because the game is much over. Mm -hmm. He just wants to be able to be harder. He likes the movement speed stuff. Yeah. He's just gonna flutter around. Auto is a good ability, man. Speaking of, well, I guess well he's played. Dead. Yeah, that's all. All needs to be said. He pretty much won it, right? At this point, he probably does. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the minus four meld armor reduction. It's not really anything great to dispel with refraction at this point. So this is solid. So basically, now it just removes 18 armor, just like that. And they can't fight without Dazzle at all. Yeah. Bottom lane. Wait, why is Rez alone there? Oh my! Why is my camera? Okay, we're good. Uh, Ace just ends up going down. Yeah, why did he see down there? Isn't like, that buyback? Like, why was he down there alone? Question. Well, the tier three tower is down. The melee barracks is starting to fall as well. We'll see if they can make it happen with this again. No razor for 60 seconds, but also soon to be no anti mage as Muji goes down. I mean. They buy back on him, but Jab's also likely to die as the Tombstone Zombies are chasing, and that's going to be Mega Creeps. That's probably going to be close to the game, barring a miracle, as Secret have struck back and showing that, you know, this is still quite a good team. Arrow goes through Avalanche, toss CTY, jumping away yet again. He's going to meld, he's going to strike, and Ice is going to die. I mean, this game was just as dominant as I mean, this game. Yeah. So, one for one, huh? Easy peasy. Like, literally one for one. They both just crushed each other once. And now, that means that in group B... One, 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 one. All of the teams have one win apiece. There's nobody that's standing out right now between them. If it keeps going like that, there's going to be a lot of tiebreakers tomorrow. Well, there's going to be a lot of tiebreakers. Well, that's going to do it for our series, Black. It was a pleasure cast with you, man. How, uh, how, do you, how are you?